Hi everyone, this is Christy Rich. I am a holistic healer. I am an empath, I am a clairvoyant, and I'm also a medium. And I'm also a health educator, many different hats. So I have created this new YouTube series. And in this series, I really want to help to empower you about the coronavirus. I wanna teach you simple ways to protect yourself and also just easy remedies that you can do. Okay, so this is all about empowerment and simple steps you can take. Okay, so today is going to be a short video. I believe this is my third video. And I'm going to be telling you some products that you can purchase to help support you at this time. Okay, so I'm going to recommend some products that I'm currently taking. Again, I am a medium. I have connected with my guides. And these are our products they also really recommend as well. So you get a double recommendation here. <laughs> First of all, it's very important that you take vitamin C, that you take vitamin C daily, 1000 milligrams. It's really good if you can get a high quality vitamin C, but very important you just take any vitamin C. I know it's hard to get out right now. I know it's hard to pick and choose with the shelves turned over, but even if you can get a chewable vitamin C, that's better than no vitamin C. Okay, as I mentioned in my other videos, it's very important that right now that you boost your immune system. And in order to do that, yes, it's important to take vitamin C, but it's also very important to reduce sugar. Sugar weakens the immune system. So with this, of course, you're getting vitamin C. It's great for kids because they like to chew things instead of swallow pills, much easier for them. But it does contain sugar, so that means it does weaken your immune system. But if you're taking a lot of steps and really cutting out sugar in other ways, not eating the cake and the cookies for dessert at night, but just taking your vitamin C, you should be okay. But if you can swallow pills, then I recommend that you do, that you get capsules of vitamin C and just make sure you're taking 1000 milligrams daily. So you will have to look on the back. You will have to see how much is in each capsule because they do differ depending on brand, but make sure you get 1000 milligrams daily. It's also very important that you take zinc daily. I do not have zinc in front of me. We have currently run out, but we have ordered. <laughs> and the kind that I purchased was the liquid zinc. So anytime you have liquid vitamins or supplements, it's easier for the body to digest. It's easier for the body to absorb because it goes quicker into your bloodstream. So we have selected a wonderful zinc a supplement that is a link a liquid but you can also choose a capsule if you prefer so make sure you take zinc daily as well it is um, very important that you take one so if it is a capsule it will be one because there is a recommended amount that you should take you should not take over that amount because then there will possibly create other problems and symptoms if you take too much. So only take one zinc, but take 1000 milligrams of the vitamin C. Again, you can take it as a, as a liquid, as a capsule, as a chewable, um, even there's powdered kinds you can mix into drinks. Again, those are full of sugar and sometimes artificial colors and flavors. So not the best, but again, right now it's just important for you to get any vitamin C. So again, we're taking the best steps that we can right now. So if you need to get an emergency or one of those um, fizzy ones airborne, that's okay for now, okay? But if you do have a sensitive stomach, then you can purchase a buffered vitamin C, okay? Buffered vitamin C will help to reduce the upset stomach. All right, so we have the zinc, we have the vitamin C. What else do we have? We have echinacea. So I take echinacea daily and I take liquid again because again, it's easier for the body, easier to digest and absorb into the bloodstream. I take this one that's actually for kids. <laughs> so this brand is called Herbs for Kids. It's all natural. You put a little bit in your water, tastes great and it works really well. So echinacea is very good to boost the immune system. And right now we want to boost our immune system to keep healthy, all right? So you just have to look on the back, again, always read your labels and make sure you take a little bit more since you're not a child, you are an adult, so you will need more of this, but still you can take it even if you're not a child. And of course, if you do have children, you can give this to them, it is safe. Um, I don't remember if it says you have to be a certain age, like 
three or five, but again, read your label and it will tell you. Okay, so just put a few squirts of this in your water. If you do get sick, if you do get sick with a cold, the flu, or if you do contract the virus, the coronavirus, it's very important that you take echinacea with golden seal. Okay, very important, the combination together. Echinacea, as I mentioned, is great for boosting the immune system naturally. Golden seal is very good for killing off germs, killing off viruses. It's a natural antibiotic. So it's fabulous because it's natural and you will not have any side effects. So as you know, if you do take an antibi antibiotic, excuse me, that's man-made, then you can have other symptoms as well. It reduces all of the good bacteria in your body, so then you have to supplement with probiotics. But with golden seal or golden root, you do not because it's all natural, no side effects. So again, if you do get sick, you need the combination of echin excuse me, echinacea with the golden seal. If you are not sick, then just the echinacea. Again, I recommend the liquid, but if you prefer, you can have capsules as well, all right? Just make sure that you do not pick a liquid that has alcohol in it. So if you're not picking a liquid that is for children, if it's for adults, a lot of time they put alcohol in there as a preservative. And as I mentioned in other videos, alcohol weakens the immune system. So we do not want to take anything with alcohol in it right now if we can. Okay, so it's better to have capsules then, or it's better to have the liquid form for kids. All right, hope that's clear. So how can we protect ourselves otherwise? Well, it's very important that we are disinfecting and sanitizing our objects and our spaces. So a lot of people right now are recommending Clorox wipes. Clorox wipes kills viruses, kills germs on contact, but you know what? It's full of toxins, it's full of chemicals. So again, these are difficult times. If you cannot get something that is without toxins and you only have access to this, this is all you carry at home right now and you can't get out to the store, that's okay. Just make sure you wear gloves because this is very toxic. Again, always look at the label, always read. If you look at the back, you will see that it has a huge caution sign. It has a huge hazard sign even. It says hazardous to humans and domestic animals. Okay, this is very, very toxic. So if you have to use this, use glove, gloves and then wipe down the objects and then throw them away. But make sure you also have a well ventilated area. So make sure you have the fan on. Make sure you're blowing out that, that, those fumes because again, it is very toxic and we breathe it in and what happens? The toxins get into our body and again, we weaken our immune system. So if you get something like a Clorox wipe, you are killing all the germs. So that's great. You don't have the germs, but then you are still weakening your immune system. So not so good. So what can you do instead if you have access to it, rubbing alcohol, rubbing alcohol. That's all you need. That's all you need to wipe down your objects. Just get a little cotton ball and then wipe down your desk, wipe down any doorknobs, wipe down your phone. Your phone is one of the objects that is full of germs more than any other object that you use. So make sure you are sanitizing your phone. All you need to do is take some rubbing alcohol and wipe it down and let it dry and it's clean. Okay? Cautions. Do not use sponges right now. Sponges are full of bacteria, are full of germs. Sponges are very convenient. Okay? A lot of people have them in their kitchen to wipe down the countertops, to wipe down to wipe down, excuse me, their dishes, but because they stay moist, that is breeding ground for bacteria. So by using a wet sponge, you're actually spreading bacteria all around your house. Not a good idea. So instead, I urge you not to use a sponge, but again, these are difficult times, so if you do not have access to you know, rubbing alcohol to wipe down your 
your surfaces if you do not have access to cotton balls or what else paper towels to wipe down then yes it's okay to use a sponge with one precaution that you must sanitize it before and how do you do that well the easiest way to sanitize a sponge is either to put it in the microwave to wet it put it in the microwave and turn it on for a minute okay and then it will kill all the germs all the germs will disintegrate there will be no more and then you can wipe down the surface but you must do that each time it's not once a day is fine each time you use the sponge you must put it in the microwave with some water and let it disinfect in there and then take it out and use it right away the other alternative is to put it in your dishwasher your dishwasher will then sanitize it for you. Otherwise, if you just have it on your, your sink and it's just there and then you use it here and there, it's full of bacteria. You do not want to use it right now, okay? So I hope these tips are clear to you. Again, you have your vitamin C, you have your zinc, you have your echinacea to boost your immune system. If you do get sick, it is very important that you Take care of yourself. You do not have to go to the hospital unless it is very, very bad, but you can boost your immune system and get better simply with echinacea and golden seal. So make sure you have some at home. Make sure you have that delivered if you cannot go out. And I hope these tips are helpful for you. Okay, so again, remember rubbing alcohol over Clorox disinfecting wipes. Okay, great. So those are all my tips today. Let me know if you have any questions. Please post a question or contact me if you have any questions. So thanks again for watching. Stay healthy, stay well, stay high vibe, and I will be posting another video soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.